Hello Aquarius. This reading is so powerful. I'm so excited for you. First of all, you've really had it with something. You feel like you've carried the weight of the world on your shoulders and you want to make a big move. You just want to release something in which you feel really bored, dissatisfied, unhappy. You have been juggling perhaps two jobs. I believe this is a career move that most of you want to make. I just feel as though you want to pack it in, you want to move far, far away. And that is the overall energy is that, you know, letting go of the burdens. This is really the checklist. This says, you know what, I'm, I just am not satisfied. I'm not happy. I'm grateful for what I have, but oh, I want something a little bit different here. And look at this. When we go from the Two of Pentacles into this great clarity you have, it's an amazing, amazing time in your life. Because look at this. <laughs> the crowning energy, the best that can be achieved. One of your outcome cards is the Empress. <laughs> so this is a phenomenal sense of clarity that you have. You're really irritable coming up here in the near future. You just feel as though you can't cut, get a break. And yet, look at this. In the past, you've established a love relationship that's beautiful, that's supportive, that you can count on, that has really been long lasting. I think for most of you, this is probably the most stable aspect that you love in your personal life. Then when we look at you in the future, look at this, the Ten of Coins. So it looks like though you're juggling two jobs, something that's not satisfying now, it looks as though the choice that you make, which you have the clarity to make, you actually manifest with the Empress card. And even though it is a thorny thicket, it's a rough ride, it's you manifest the Ten of Coins, the happiness that you seek, Aquarius. This energy is Virgo energy by working hard, by having a plan, by making a plan and working your plan. You have succeeded. You have used the Sagittarius energy of enlightenment, the ability to see the bigger picture, to stay calm, cool, and collected, to stay grateful to everyone who has helped you along the way. And though this is your greatest fear, the five of coins is being left in the cold. It's just a fear. That's the most harmless card in the whole reading. And then you have the sun card. Oh my word, I mean, the Empress and the Sun are your two outcomes. So when you manifest whatever this is, and it looks like a creative project, for some of you, you may have a baby. For some of you, you may birth a new life through a new career. But whatever you're going towards, you're going through total self-expression, happiness, joy, the happiest card in the deck. I think for many of you, you may start a family. Um, you're relying on a family, but this is abundance and wealth. And when we get the sun card and the manifestation card, you are no longer juggling your money, your coin, your job. So whatever it is that you are doing, Aquarius, it is phenomenal. Okay, so I'm going to give you the table shot. I just want you to really soak this reading in. It is a glorious reading. <clears throat> for Aquarius all year long I've seen you with a good partnership but plotting and planning and trying to really manifest something incredible and this energy is incredible the only card that is even really negative is the five of swords card and it really tells us that Whoever you're leaving behind here in one of these jobs, whatever situation, these people feel almost like you've abandoned them. And I do think it's a job that you don't like, that you're very good at. And I think for most of you, that's the score. That's what's happening. Let's get a couple of clarifiers here for you. The Four of Cups, why are you dissatisfied with your current situation? 
in the work environment. Why are you dissatisfied? The two of coins and the four of cups. Why are you dissatisfied about the situation? What do we need to know? Don't let anyone, oh, beautiful. Don't let anyone influence your values or your plans. So you are definitely headed in the right direction. You are not letting anybody coerce you. You're not letting anybody in to really talk to, the, to you about their opinions. You are a master manifester because that's one of the key features of manifesting. Don't talk about things with friends or people around you. Let's see what this thorny situation is that you're going to go through probably in as little as you know, it could be this week, next week, but it should be the time frame of September. What is this situation in which somebody really thinks that you've done the wrong thing? Woman, trust a woman that really loves you. All right. So this is somebody who's very close to you. This is somebody who's very protective over you. Now, it can be in the workplace. It could be a boss who absolutely adores you, but is in a very tough situation themselves and they really would like for you to stick around. Let's see where they go with this energy. If dispute is unbearable, look for help. So I do think that what's going to make this a heavy burden is that you're going to move away from a boss that you like, but an environment that you dislike. Now, if I'm reading this correctly, please leave comments below. Um, but we see this energy of Friends you can trust surround you. So you really are in good company. You really do know how to manifest and you've manifested so much deep love and meaning in your life, Aquarius. Well, you're nothing if not noble, right? Aquarius is a very noble sign. Why is the temperance card here? Why are you staying so cool, calm, and collected? Birds carefully examine before consenting. Well, you're staying calm because you're not going to rush into anything. Let's pull one card here for this Five of Pentacles. Why do you feel fearful of being left out in the cold? Well, you feel fearful, but you, you feel your fear and you're doing it anyway. So what we see here is that you trust in destiny Fortune will never leave you. And so even though there are times like all of us experience, you do have moments of a little self-doubt or a little bit of worry, but look at this reading. The sun card, the happiest card in the deck. So now we're going to pick two priestess cards. Um, let me show you the box. It's the priestess of the light oracle, okay? And we're going to take a look and see what we have here for you, for our beautiful Aquarius friends. Aquarius, these readings for September have been absolutely amazing for the air signs. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so what messages do we need for our beautiful Aquarius friends? Thank you. All right, spirit. Thank you. There we go. Abundance, fortune, wealth, and plenty. And that resonates with all of these cards. This is manifesting wealth and abundance of any sort that you desire. The fire sign or the sun card is usually a creative entity or children, creations of the mind and body. So you may, you may get a job that pays you for entertainment purposes or for some creative experience. And you may have a child. And look at this, a family, a marriage, at least a commitment. That it, which embodies everything that you desire and it's manifesting, but you are the high priestess, the high priestess of abundance. Okay, let's get another card here for our beautiful Aquarius friends. That is so exciting. All right, I'm so excited for you, truly. Okay, sacred gratitude, reverent appreciation and prayer oh that is beautiful energy for you aquarius thank you so much for watching sending you love from chicago bye bye